What's going on, everybody? It's Jack, and I know why you're here. You want to make a ton of coins in Madden Ultimate Team on Madden 20. Well, I've got the single most surefire way to make as many coins as you want without spending a single dollar out of your actual wallet. Now, I tweeted out earlier today that this video was coming. I did, as you can as you can see here. And oh, 4, 4 p.m. And oh, th three, three, three. Oh, okay, okay. But like, as you can see, right? Like, I was telling everybody that this was coming. Now, unfortunately, the secret's out because other people, much larger followings than myself at the moment, were able to record and release the videos before lowly old me I'm still going to show you guys what to do because if you're here it means you're watching my stuff not theirs or maybe you're watching theirs too who knows but I want you to know that all these big names all these people that have so much bigger of a following and all that kind of clout they're looking at people like me for that kind of content because people like me that actually knows what they're doing. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I do and what I was talking about, regardless of what they did. And also, I'm gonna show it to you guys in a lot less time than a 22 minute video. Let's go. All right, guys, so, as you can see, I currently have 118,000 coins. I started off this morning at about 39,000, and I had a whole lot of stuff I had to do today, so I've only really done this method today twice at about 20 minutes each. So in about 40 minutes worth of my time today, I have went from 39,000 to 118,000. If I put in a little bit more effort, a lot more time today, who knows how many coins I could have right now. But I didn't have a whole lot of time today, so I only was able to do it twice. Once in the early afternoon and then one probably about two or three hours ago before I started recording everything for the other video and this video and editing and thumbnails and all that yada yada yada. But anyway, 40 minutes, I made about 80,000 coins, which is pretty good. But anyway, here is the coin method for Madden 20. It's all about penny stocks. Like, call me Jordan Belfort, it's all about penny stocks. You come down here, right, that get a player, that get a player is 500 coins. Now, once you do that, you got to get at least three of them, right? So I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want this video to drown on and on and on. But just know you buy a bunch of get a player packs. It's however many you want to invest. I had 39,000. I invested about 20,000. I made back about 40,000. It really depends on what you pull too. Because if you pull a couple of good power ups, you could sell those power ups. You can pull a couple of good golds. You can make a little bit more. But the goal is to break even at the very least because if you're breaking even on a card that means you're doing something right because the other ones you're going to make a net positive on so you're going to buy a bunch of get a player packs at the silvers right okay then you come over to the sets now once you have all those cards you come down to the sets and now you go to the exchange set now here's where it starts getting tricky if you have a bunch of the higher end rookie cards you can sell those because they're going to sell for about three or four k roughly some of them a little less but again the goal is if you buy three of them and you put them into this set like the low end rookie to get to that you want to make at least the 1500 back because it costs three so it's 500 500 500 so that's 1500 and you're going to want to make sure you get at least that back because you don't want to be ending up negative but again, there's enough of a variance here where you're going to make more coins than you're spending. Now, the other ones you're going to want to put into the silver exchange set, the regular low end silver. So you're going to trade in any two silvers, the 62 to 65, and you're going to get a random higher end silver. So that higher end silver is 66 to 69. Again, that could also be a rookie, which is fine, or it might not be, but then you gotta take three of those and you put it into the gold exchange. Where you take the 66 to 69 and you get the golds. Now this is where you have to actually start looking at the market, right? You're gonna have your golds, you're gonna have your low end silvers, and you're gonna end up having a whole bunch of cards in your binder. Now, 
if the low end gold sells for what you need to make back, great. Which again, is actually only two of those. So there's a chance you pull those cards right away, the 62 to 65s. And the other thing, right? Because it's a 62 plus card. So you can get 62, 63, all the way up to the 90 right now. It's just a matter of luck. If you pull something that's really worth something randomly because RNG's on your side, congratulations, you just made a heck of a profit. But if not, then you really only have to worry about making a little bit more than a thousand because then you have the thousand, 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 you put them in there, you get the golds, right? Now, a couple of the low end golds do sell for enough to make your money back. But the key is that those that don't, you put into the higher end golds and this is where you're gonna make your money. The 75 to 79s are all gonna sell for about five, maybe six, some of them a little more, maybe a little less. It all depends on the market and the time of the day and yada, 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 yada. But that's where you're gonna make your money is in those 75 to 79 goals. Now, obviously you wanna make sure you get your training back because it's one training to 100 gold is the bare minimum. If you can get away with that ratio, then you know that the card you have is gonna hold its value. Now, the cool thing is I can go show you the auction house, all my auctions that I've done today. Hopefully they're still here. These are the ones I've done today, it's newest. Okay, so I have this one currently on the shop still, but 2000, 2900, 1000, 2000, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh look, I pulled, see, you pull a power up that's worth six five. Michael Kendrick, 78, six grand. 77, five, five. 78, five, five. Three, three, two, one, eight, two, eight. Kickers are actually pretty good. High-end kickers are gonna actually make your money back because that's what you need. Power up, power up, power up, power up, power up. Again, as you can see, oh look, Leighton Van Der Esch, power up. Um, and then I had him last night and this is really where I started today. So I started from here all the way up today. Like I said, I haven't done that much today, but I went from 39,000 to 118,000 doing this because like I said, you buy, you flip, you buy, you flip, you buy, you flip, and then that's really all it takes. Now, obviously you gotta know the market, you gotta know like what cards are really worth selling, what cards are worth putting into the set to upgrade to the next level, and obviously that's something that takes a lot of time, and you just really gotta learn that. Like there's a little bit of intricacy to that that I'm not really gonna be able to just explain to you in this video because you have to really like look at the market and understand the time of day. If you're at night, the card's gonna be worth a little bit more right now because a lot of people are playing at night but then later on it might be like the early afternoon the late afternoon that time just because kids are coming home from school kids are jumping online kids are buying the cards that way so then they might be lower because more people are influxing the market and like that kind of thing you have to understand how it works it's almost like a stock exchange you have to understand that when it opens up it's going to be higher just because people are buying 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 but then if the card sucks like because it's a new car coming out but then they don't like it they're just going to start bombing it in the market and then you're going to end up having it market tanking and then it's going to bottom out and then maybe you want to buy it when it bottoms out and it's a whole bunch of things but that's besides the point those are for other videos that was really a lot more information there at the end than you probably needed but again it's all about that get a player, you buy the 500 coins, you take the 500 coins, you make sure you're making your money back because it's 500, 500, 500 to get that and you do that to the exchange and the exchange to the exchange and then you take that card and you flip it to that. But you just have to make sure you're getting your money back. It doesn't matter what level card it is if you're able to make your money back. If you're able to make a profit on it, then you're in, then you're in the black. And if you're in the black, then you're doing good. But the key is to at least break even because then with the variance, you're gonna make a profit. And that's really what it comes down to. Like everybody else could be like, oh yeah, you wanna make sure you're making your money back. But really some cards aren't worth it. But really if the key component here is the get a player, you have to understand how much you're spending. All you wanna do is make sure that your unit cost ends up being less than what you're bringing in. Congratulations, high school economics. <laughs> but, that's really it guys uh, if you guys like this video you like me rambling you like me talking um if you like me talking about much stuff like this I got a whole bunch of videos I can do for you guys during the year um, I probably will just because much fun 
auction house is fun and talking about it's fun but games are fun too streams are starting uh commentaries are starting gameplays are starting competitive season starting i would like to go to dallas but i'm not sure if i'm going to dallas yet because plane tickets and labor day weekend <laughs> but that's it guys like comment subscribe ring that notification bell and follow me on social because that's where i post a bunch of stuff is all on social medias because i have a cell phone and i use social media I say but a lot. I notice that. Trust me. I know. So, before you guys start making comments in the comment section, I know I say it a lot. Anyway, I'm out.